As for the non-keratinized epithelium, we see more organelles in the surface layers, less tonofilaments, less developed tonofilaments, and there are no keratohaline granules present. This epithelium is, has greater permeability compared to the keratinized. Here is a section of parakeratinized or partially keratinized epithelium. The time taken for a progenitor or a stem cell to pass through the entire epithelial thickness and the upper layers and reaching the uppermost surface is called the turnover time. This is highest for the skin and we have a very low turnover time of five to six days for the junctional epithelium. The non-keratinocytes are cells which compose only 10% of the epithelium. They are uniquely clear cells under the microscope, as you can see here. All cells that are clear can be non-keratinocytes. These cells can be Langerhans cells, Merkel cells, which are touch receptors, melanocytes, which synthesize the melanin pigment, or inflammatory cells such as lymphocytes. The melanocytes as well as the Langerhans cells are all dendritic cells which have long processes. Melanocytes and the Merkel cells, they are located in the, mostly on the basal cell layer. The Merkel cells have sensory function so they can attach to, uh, to sensory neurons and fibers. Here is a section of keratinized epithelium composed of stratum corneum, stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, and the stratum basali. The melanocytes are melanin synthesizing cells. They are dendritic and have long processes as marked by the black arrows. We see the melanosomes which contain the melanin pigment also. These cells can contact up to 40 keratinocytes in what can be called an epidermal melanocyte unit, thus producing melanin and transporting it to keratinocytes, contributing to the color of the oral mucosa. A clinical picture of what can be called a racial pigmentation of the oral mucosa, mostly in dark-skinned individuals. It can be seen on the gingiva as well as on the buccal mucosa, the heart palate, and the tongue. 
In these individuals, we see a high activity of the melanocytes. The number of cells in both dark or fair-skinned individuals are, is the same, while what is different can be the melanocyte activity producing the melanosomes and their level of dispersion, their level of their size and their degree of melanization. These individuals normally have high number of macrophages that ingest the melanosomes. melanosomes. Langerhans cells are antigen presenting cells. They are also dendritic cells and have characteristic berbic granules which can be seen as marked by the arrows. These granules are rod shaped and have immunologic function. These cells with their dendrocytes can ingest any bacteria and foreign antigens in the epithelium and can present them to the lymphocytes or the lymph nodes in the connective tissue. Therefore, they are migrating cells from the epithelium to the connective tissue or the lymph nodes nearby. Merkel cells are non-dendritic cells. They are often closely opposed to nerve fibers, as seen here, because they act as a receptor for sensory function. These cells are often seen deeply invaginated, and many small vesicles can be seen close to the nerve fiber.